Good morning. So I've been working on a little project recently with this Ubiquiti UNVR Pro, where I decided I didn't need it as an NVR anymore, so I decided to see what I could do with it. And uh, the outcome of this is this beautiful GitHub repo called UNVR NAS, where I built a firmware builder for this thing that'll bootstrap it with uh, Debian 12 and Open Media Vault. So to demonstrate how this all works. We'll go ahead and plug her in. Give her a minute here to boot up. Uh, it takes a few minutes, kind of like normal Ubiquiti firmware, but it's a little different. In a minute, you'll hear the fan spool up and spool down as the fan driver starts. Okay. And it's booted. Uh, currently, right now, if you look at disks, it doesn't report any disks. Uh, this is because more integration work needs to be done. But if we go into it, we got CPU and memory, throughput, IP address, but notice how we don't have versions, uh, and there's a host name, but if we go look at that IP address, 191, and we go to it, dot 54.191, we now get Open Media Vault. And if we go ahead and sign in, is very fun one-handed, uh, you will see that we can go to storage, we have our disks that I have in there, all four of them. Uh, if we go to diagnostics and system info, we will indeed see that it is running Alpine UNVR kernel. And if we go to report, Debian 12 bookworm, run Alpine UNVR. Both interfaces work. In my example, you can see I'm using the 10 gigabit SFP port. Uh, SFP plus works, RJ45 works, so all the networking works. Uh, currently the things that don't work, um, the display for disks doesn't exist yet. Uh, another service needs to be written to mock a Ubiquiti one. And, uh, Inside of Open Media Vault itself, BTRFS currently does not work because of the lack of a kernel module. Um, currently, I am using the Ubiquiti firmware kernel and modules because there is no recent uh, GPL release from Ubiquiti. Uh, I have asked for it for the NVR Pro, and if I can get that, uh, we will move to building our own kernel, uh, which will allow us to add a lot more features as well as simplify the install process. Uh, right now, I would argue this is an early alpha. Things do work, but you have to use MD disks for RAID. Um, you can't use ButterFS. But as long as you don't care about that and you just want a Samba or NFS NAS, this thing so far works pretty good. Uh, hoping to add more improvements with time. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I got for you.